can hear my exhaust as a Hellcat Burning the streets, you can smell that Way too fast, you can't tell that Black and white stripes on a Hellcat I had a dream I was in a RT But then I woke up in a Hellcat I had a dream I was in a RT But then I woke up in a Hellcat This panda is boosted Swap will be here and I'ma lose them Like and subscribe, get my views up Why they mad cause they choose us Haters mad with they nose up Before he grows, he grows up I can't believe they don't know us Boosted panda doing dogs What's going on guys, it's Rico with uh, Booster Panda, uh, back at it again with another video. So what we're going to be doing in this video is actually uh, putting the supercharger back together. As you guys can see, man, that port, every time I see it, that is just... I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually post uh, a side-by-side -side comparison from another video that I found. I'll go ahead and put uh, the uh, link down in the description for this video. But uh, he actually went in debt on how to put back the supercharger and uh it's a really great video guys definitely check it out if you're struggling or if you need any help he's a professional i'm not so all right let's get to it all right guys so first things first we're gonna go ahead and put in the uh the intercooler bricks themselves the gaskets are still on so i'm gonna flip it around and we're actually gonna put it in from the back first and then when, when taking it out, you're gonna get a little bit of coolant. But when taking it out, you actually do this the opposite way. All right, and you set it down off in there. Just like that. Make sure that it's pushed back and lined up. All right, same thing with the other one. All right, guys, so next up, we're going to go ahead and put the crossover on. So there's actually these O-rings right here that seat right off of this in here. You know, make sure that you put these O-rings back. Now we'll go ahead and put the crossover on. And when putting the crossover on, guys, there's like, you just got to have a, Steady hand. Like I said, it may help to put some grease on it. But if you do, uh, what you want to make sure is that you don't mess up that O-ring. You don't smash that O-ring. And we look pretty good, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. Um, most of the uh, the bolts for the supercharger are a T30. You can find it at your local um, auto parts store. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top bolt here. And we're gonna do it like a, a crisscross pattern. All right, guys, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, O2 sensor. All right, guys, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the brick brackets on. That's these little brackets right here. That uh, they're pretty much just retaining brackets to hold down the uh, intercooler bricks. All right, guys. When you want to, when you put these on, you want to make sure uh, you don't get doing too tight. You're gonna start from the middle. It kind of like bows a little bit. All right, guys, so for the intercooler brick bracket, the retaining bracket, it's actually a T20. So I'm gonna just swap that out real quick. Like I said, you wanna tighten from the middle and work your way out. Okay guys, and uh, same with the other side. And you may be thinking like, hey, how am I supposed to know which way is the right way? Well, it only goes on one way. All right guys, now here's the fun part. 
Now we're going to go ahead and take our anaerobic tiller here or whatever you want to use. You can use uh, RTV uh, or whatever. I'm going to use the anaerobic tiller because it's like a lot less messy. So I just picked this up at uh, Advance Auto. It's like 15 bucks. So, All right, guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and just put a little bit of uh, like a bead of whatever tiller you're going to use and then just like smooth, like thin it out. So I'm going to do that now. After you get your nice seal going, however you want to do it, you're going to go ahead and put your snout. You might have to spin a little bit. All right. So once you have it lined up, go ahead and push it on there. Get a nice seal going. Now you're going to put in your bolts. Alright guys, so when you uh, get them finger tight, you're going to go ahead and uh, start torquing them down. Um, we're going to do the bottom mid, then you're going to go top mid, you're going to go top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right. Sorry guys, I almost forgot. So the torque spec is actually um, a three pass. You go 4, 11, 22. It's just to make sure, you know, you're not just cranking it and tightening it all the way. I mean, you can kind of do it by hand. It's just like takes common sense. Just don't over tighten it and you'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, guys, for this sensor right here, I'm going to show you guys a trick to go ahead and uh, be able to um, tighten. A little mechanic trick. Take your, your T30, wherever I put it. Okay. So you can't really get, the, get it down in there to tighten it. So what you want to do is actually just take your T30. And we're gonna like finger tighten as much as we can, which isn't much. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take either a 5 16th or an 8 millimeter and use that to go ahead and tighten it the rest of the way. Oh, one thing I forgot to almost mention you have these three little O rings right here. They actually sit off in these holes right here on top. When you take it apart, you'll see, you'll, uh, you'll see them. You can't miss them. You want to go ahead and put your bypass on now. There's no real torque spec. Just go ahead and just tighten this down. Don't over tighten it. It's aluminum, you guys, so you don't need much. And there you have it, guys. Pretty much put together. Uh, this sensor right here is actually on the car. I forgot that I left it on the car. It just makes it a, lo a little bit easier. But uh, but yeah, that sensor is on the car. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on the lid. All right, so for the lid, you have this uh, paper gasket here. Make sure that you do not break this. <laughs> then you guys know now, make sure you do not break it. It only goes on one way. So you can flip it around. All right, it's on there. All right, you want to make sure it just stays in place. You don't need any sealing or anything like that. And then you have these little green gaskets right here. They actually uh, sit off up in the lid. I'll show you right now. Right here, they literally just slide right in. Just like that. Don't All right, guys, the so next thing you want to do, once you make sure those gaskets are all in there, Make sure your O-rings are set. Now you're going to go ahead and just lift up your lid. It only goes on one way. You can't mess it up. I'm going to go ahead and just put in the bolts. All right, guys. So I got this from Forza, but this is the torque spec. It's uh, uh, seven foot pounds. And uh, the torque sequence, you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this. So essentially, you're going to start with the uh, middle ones first and then work your way out. I'm going to do that now. Remember, it's only seven foot pounds, guys. You can do that with a flick of the wrist. Comment, subscribe, you know what I mean? Uh, really helps out. Uh, we're trying to grow the channel. So, uh, other than that, guys, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video. To the next one.